Hi guys, and welcome to chapter two. Chapter two is all about solving equations. We're gonna to start today with just one step equations. Now, since we've been doing expressions prior to today, I wanted to go over a little bit about equations before we get started. In our questions, we're gonna be creating equivalent equations. Equivalent equations are two equations that have the same solution. So as we're solving and as we're going through a problem, we're hoping that we aren't making any mistakes and that our final answer is also the answer to the original question. To make sure that your equations stay equivalent, whatever you do to one side of the problem, you have to do to the other side as well. So you want to make sure that you're staying consistent on both sides of the equal sign. The goal when solving an equation is to get the variable by itself. So you want to find any numbers that are on the same side as the variable. You want to move them to the other side of the equal sign so that for a final answer, you get something like x equals 2 or x equals negative 5 over 7 or something like that. To move things away from a variable, you need to use what's called an inverse operation. An inverse operation will allow you to move one numbers from one side to the other so that your variable can be all by itself. Our inverse operations are addition and subtraction. So if you want to move a number that's being added, you can subtract it. And it works the other way as well. If you want to move a number that's being subtracted, you can add it. And multiplication and division. So again, if you want to move something that's being multiplied, you can divide. And if you want to move something that's being divided, you can multiply. We said this earlier, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side as well. So if you're going to add a 7 over here, you've got to add a 7 over here also. And again, today we're just going to do one step problems. So we will be only doing one of the four operations. Let's get started. Here's my first example. In this problem, I have an equation. And I know it's an equation because there's an equal sign. And that equal sign is really important. That equal sign is what's going to split my problem with the left side and the right side. And so, so I can visually see where that split is happening. I'm going to draw a red bar through the middle of the equal sign so that I can very clearly see this is one side and this is the other side. Now, my goal is to get that letter X all by itself. With the letter X right now, on the left-hand side of the problem, I also have a plus 13. So I need to get rid of that. I need to take the plus 13 and I need to move it to the other side using the inverse operation. The inverse of adding is subtracting, so I will be subtracting 13 from both sides. On the side where you did the inverse, the positive 13 and the negative 13, those will cancel out, leaving us with no more number 13 on this side and only the letter X, which was our goal. On the other side of the equation, I do need to figure out what 27 minus 13 is. 27 minus 13 is 14. Now that my letter X is all by itself, I'm done with this problem. X equals 14. Let's try one more. In this question, again, I have an equation. I'm going to draw that red line right down the middle of the equal sign so that I can very clearly see here's my left side and here's my right side. My goal in this question is to get the letter B by itself. Now, unlike our previous problem, my letter B on this problem is on the right-hand side. So that means that I need to take my number three from the right side and I need to move it to the left side away from the letter B. My number three is being subtracted right now. It says B minus three and the inverse of subtracting is adding. So I'm going to add three and it's really important that you're doing it once on the left side, once on the right side, once on each side of that red line. Where the negative 3 was, that will cancel out with the positive 3, leaving me with my letter B by itself on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, I will need to figure out what negative 7 plus 3 is. Now, for a final answer, we do usually write the letter on the left. So I'm going to just take them and I'm going to switch which side they're written on. So instead of writing negative 4 equals B, for a final answer, I'm going to write B equals negative 4. This concludes our first video.